Welcome to Tech Drill. Today, we are diving into an exciting leap in developer productivity. You have heard that GitHub Copilot writes code for you, like an intelligent autocomplete. But now, things just got a whole lot smarter. Introducing GitHub Copilot chat agent, you are AI-powered peer programmer. Not just a pair programmer that follows your lead, but a teammate that understands your goals, responds to PR comments, updates the files, and even manages tasks across your repo, all autonomously under your direction. Let us explore how this changes the way we code. We are going to discuss about what exactly Copilot Code Agent Look into a small demo. Today, the video is more of the conceptual angle. So the demo will be very simple for modifying a readme file. Then understand how the usage cost, risk and mitigation elements, limitations with a Copilot agent. Copilot coding agent released as part of Microsoft Build 2025 and it's available as public preview for Copilot Enterprise and Copilot Pro Plus users. Copilot Coding Agent act as a teammates that takes a dev task and complete the implementation and raise a PR. GitHub Copilot Coding Agent is your new AI powered teammate. It takes software development tasks like updating the code, writing tests or modifying the files all from natural language based instructions. You can assign an issue, copilot, start implementing the issue and raise a PR for you. It reads your entire repository context and create a meaningful pull request automatically. Let us quickly see a simple demo of modifying a readme file by GitHub copilot agent. We are in sales dashboard with a simple readme file indicating the some notes, some demo scripts available here. And I have an issue in the same repository for updating the readme file with the two sections, contributor and license section. It's a simple task and I'm going to assign that to Copilot. This is how you kickstart GitHub Copilot agent. You can assign your issue to Copilot just like you are assigning an issue to your colleague or team member. Now Copilot start implementing and it's mentioned that it's in work in progress and you can observe that Copilot simple indicating it's working on this one. By clicking on this one, it takes you to the corresponding PR. Copilot started giving the details, the original issue description, and it's linked to the corresponding issue. And a small explanation on, we can use MCP servers that we will be covering as part of the next video. And it start working on behalf of Ampli. So this is the link. If you want to understand more about what exactly Copilot is working on, Click on this one, started working link. Copilot provide the detailed log information. Copilot provided the detail like it's going to add contributor and license sections to the readme file. And it's read the current readme file. And Copilot agent examined the repository to understand any license file exists already so that it can link to that license file or contributor file. In case it exists, it will take that one instead of duplicating the effort. Based on the analysis, Copilot agent planned the changes and came up with a detailed plan. Specifying that the first step is it needs to add a contributor section. Next is a license section needs to be added and the changes will be straightforward and minimal. There is no impact on other files or any other documents. And both sections we mentioned we need general instructions. So it's going to add that one as well. 
It created a step-by-step -step plan, what all steps it's going to do, examine the current one, research the common areas and everything. The output is here and the draft content is created, updated the readme files and at the end it's created the complete summary information. Successfully completed the required task of updating the file by adding contributor section with a these are the informations and I also added a license section with these details. So let us see how the PR looks like now. The entire implementation is completed successfully. So we are going back to the PR created by GitHub Copilot. This is the PR generated by GitHub Copilot for updating the readme file with the two new sections. If I go to the files changed, it's added a contributor section and also it's added a license section. This is what exactly we needed. Now, as part of the review, I'm going to ask Copilot, move the license statements into license file and add appropriate links to readme file. I am expecting the license details in a license file instead of part of the readme file itself. So requested a change and going to submit the review. Instead of approving the changes by copilot, I have requested a change, update the implementation by adding a new license file and move all the license section into a file and add a link to that file from readme. Copilot start working on my review comments. It starts spinning up the dev environment. Session one is the one completed implementation. Session two means the update we requested to copilot. Copilot start analyzing the PR comments and the changes requested, getting all the PR files and viewing the existing readme file, which contain the contributor and license section as part of it. Now, based on the PR comments, we have asked for some changes. For implementing that, Copilot is going to create a new license file and update the readme file. Creating the license file is done and it's going to do the editing of the readme file. Copilot summarized the update. Let us go back to our PR to understand how the changes are impacted. Now you can observe that there are two files. One is the license file with the MIT license details and the readme file with the contributor section and license section which links to our license file. Let us have a look on the Copilot Fix 21 branch as well to understand how it looks like. This is the contributor section added by Copilot agent as well as the license section where MIT license links to the license file, the MIT license file added by Copilot agent. It's a simple example for demonstrating the power of GitHub Copilot agent which can act just like a team member and take a issue perform all the activities come up with a pr and as a developer after reviewing the pr you can request changes or approve the pr once you request changes copilot is going to rework on the pr as you may observe the issue is assigned to the person as well as copilot that is one thing and the details are available as part of or the copilot log details are available as part of started work that's a link available if you go there you can see the detailed log in a readable format underline copilot agents are using actions if you look at the action section you can see couple of actions execution this 21 is our first assignment 
the raw request details or the processing information is captured as part of actions log if you are looking for a raw format you can access this one instead of the readable format available as part of github copilot implementation log moreover copilot raise the pr in a draft mode which prevent the execution of any pre configured workflows sometimes we have a pre configured checks and workflows as part of pr creation as it's in the draft mode it will not kick start that process once you approve the pr or you specify ready for review then it's kick start the checks and the workflows as part of the pr implementation let us move back to the deck and understand the limitations copilot can work on the single repository where the issue is right now available or it can create a pr in the same repository only it can open a single pull request at a time and also it cannot work on an existing pr if you have already a pr and try to assign the pr to a copilot it will not work you need to start from an issue or your task and ask copilot to start implementing that issue or task copilot create the branch out of the main branch only moreover copilot will not sign your commits and it will not work with a self hosted github actions runners you need github hosted runners for executing the actions content exclusion is another feature right now copilot agent is not adhered to that so if you have an excluded file still the agent consider that as part of the context so let us see how the usage cost will be copilot agent cost calculated based on the actions cost how much time it's taken to execute the actions as well as the premium request that is separately calculated for copilot chat from june 4th onwards premium request will come in effect copilot agents will be consume some of the premium request as well as the actions minutes if you look at the autonomous copilot agent which act like your team member it persists some of the risk the first one is copilot agent can push code to your repository in case you want to restrict the copilot access you can define proper branch protection policies and limit the scope to a particular copilot branch itself the second risk is copilot agent has access to the source code this may raise the potential risk of data leakage either accidentally or using a malicious prompt users may try to leak your code for restricting that copilot access to internet can be controlled using firewall rules you can customize or disable the firewall for copilot agent third risk is using prompt injection users can embed hidden instructions on the issue or the comments assigned to copilot and try to inject some of the malicious or vulnerabilities into the implementation but github copilot currently filter out all the hidden characters and contents before passing the user input to copilot for instance if you have html as part of your issues or pr discussions GitHub filters that before sending that input to copilot agent which reduce the risk of prompt injection vulnerabilities till now we discussed about GitHub copilot agent an ai teammate how it's able to take an issue and implement raise the pr respond to your review comments and change the implementation as well as the limitations associated with the copilot agent and some of the risk and mitigation elements copilot agents can be triggered from vs code using chat as well as mcp integration with the copilot agent is possible these two topics we will discuss as part of our upcoming videos copilot coding agent 
revolutionize the way we develop the software. We are getting an AI team member who is going to take some of the tasks from us and implement. You are more focused on reviewing the code generated by Copilot as well as more complex use cases. Users should be aware of the cost, risk and the limitations associated with using GitHub Copilot coding agent. To sum it up, the GitHub Copilot coding agent is a major leap in development automation. It handles repetitive tasks, responds to review and integrates with our entire dev process. Just remember to use it with proper review and security controls. Thanks for watching TechRill and don't forget to like, subscribe and let Copilot do the coding.